Hi, everybody. I'm Will, and we are at Liberation. We're about to do some improv for you. I'd like to thank everybody for, for coming out. I really do, we do, really do appreciate it, because we're going to do some improv. And yeah, come on down. Just grab a seat anywhere. Uh, improv means, has anyone here ever been to an improv show before? Show of hands. Everyone, except, no? OK, well, then this is for you. All right. OK. What we're going to do is make up a couple short plays, basically, uh, just off of some suggestions we get from you guys, and then whatever our imagination does to drive us. Uh, what we're going to need from you are suggestions and energy. The more energy you guys give us, the more energy we can put out for you to enjoy. It sounds kind of like we're some sort of weird comedy vampires, but... <laughs> so to get your energy levels up, uh, we're going to do something that I'm blatantly ripping off from another group that performs on campus. We're going to do a countdown. We're going to start... Hi, Matt. Uh, just give me a thumbs up. Oh, good. Thanks. That's Matt. You'll see him later. <laughs> okay, uh... So we're going to start at 10. At 10, you are not all that excited. You're like... What was the met? Oh yeah, this metaphor is weird, so bear with me. At 10, you're holding a match, and it's lit, and it's like, oh, kind of bright. Oh, that's nice. Then we count down to 7. At 7, oh, the match is getting kind of short. It's hot in my fingers. That's a little exciting, right? <laughs> Bad excitement, but... At 5, your arm is caught on fire. And you're like, ah, waving, super exciting. Please convey this via clapping and cheering. At 3, you're completely on fire. Ah, yeah, woo! And at one, you burn so hot that it dwarfs the light of the sun. And you're just, ah, the very essence of fire. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start off at 10 with, yeah, boring. Nine, that match is getting shorter. Eight, seven, six. said, we are at Liberation. We are about to do a long-form comedy piece for you. Come on in, filter down. We'd love to have you. All we need to do, get from you to start. It's so intimate, right? It's great. First, uh, first word that pops into anybody's head. Just shout it out. Bacon. Bacon? Did I hear it? Our suggestion is bacon. I hate you and you're fat. I thought you'd say that. <laughs> Why didn't you change? Well, I tried. Did I went on that all-bacon diet. <laughs> or you. <laughs> Sweetie, I love you. Okay, good. Then we're fine. I, no. We're, <laughs> no. Take, take a seat, baby. Okay. Take a seat. Uh, should I use the other one, too? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. My love is so big. Me, too. You're a little too big for it. I think... I think I'm going to only get to start dating half. Yeah. You get to pick the half. I'll let you pick the half. Well, the bottom half. Really? <laughs> what do you want You're, you're going to pick the bottom half? Yeah. Like knees down. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can deal with that. I can... I can deal with those. You've always had loving feet. Yes, and these shoes are probably going to need to be replaced soon, so I guess that's in your territory. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think you understand how dating works. I don't, I don't buy things for you. We do things together, and... I'll go half, you go half. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what partnership is, so... I'm willing to make this work if you're willing to stop eating bacon. <laughs> It. Got something real special for you today, Ted. I got something. Want to see it? I, yes, see I it? do, and I have something special for you. It's the lab coat that Kevin Bacon wore in Hollow Man. <laughs> $20,000. This is perfect. It goes just with what I wanted to show you. Okay. How do I look? Awesome. Okay, you ready to see what I bought? Yeah. 
It's a magic wand. Yep. What? It's a magic wand. I'm a wizard that, now. <laughs> that doesn't fit in the screenplay. You're, you're, you're the scientist that falls in love with the monkey. Yes, and magic is science. And I'm going to turn the monkey into my beautiful bride with magic. No, you can't just rewrite the script. I, I, I did the script. It's a documentary! The... No! It's about my life and how no, I've become... When you're being paid by me, you're going to do what I say. Give me the wand. My, I need to cast spells. You're not going to cast spells. You're going you're gonna to fall in love with the monkey, and then you're going to realize that you're just too different. It doesn't make sense free. that I fall in love with the monkey it and I can't sense. turn her into a woman! Did you read the script? <laughs> no, because I thought it was a documentary <laughs> about my life. Oh. That's what I think about your life. I killed a unicorn to make that. <laughs> it's so hot in here. I can't believe you forgot to pay the power bill. <laughs> you ever wonder what it's like in China? Oh, I don't wonder anything right now. I'm too hot. Like all I know is like, like from menus and like a little bit of TV. <laughs> I don't know. I've just been thinking about maybe taking a trip there. Maybe. Maybe you should spend some of that time remembering to pay the power bill. I don't think they just use chopsticks. <laughs> I think that's a stereotype. I bet the fork is like the most useful invention we have ever had. They must, they're smart people. That's a stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got. I gotta watch myself on those. Do they, do they have air in China? You are sweating all over my silk sofa. <laughs> it's hot in here. It's silk. <laughs> it's ruined. You know what I think of silk? Oh. <laughs> I found another woman to date my other half. <laughs> Yay! Her oh. name is Franklina. Franklina. <laughs> this is what you meant. Yes. Well, I figured, how am I going to be whole if only part of me is being dated? Whole. Mm. <laughs> now, which half do you want? I'm thinking, uh, like, like, no. When I cut things up, I come diagonally because I'm a big sucker for diagonal sandwiches, and it's like <laughs> bilateral symmetry for a reason. Right down the middle. Yeah. Well, this side of the middle. No, all the important stuff, so like right over here. Like just you two are side? fighting over me. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, right down the middle. None of this diagonal bull crap. How do you eat, how do you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I Tell can me. go for some peanut butter and jelly. Shut up, fatty! In my space. <laughs> and I am having a hard time. Diagonal or I'm, no? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time thinking. I don't cut my peanut butter sandwiches, I just eat them like the bread is made! I'm here to take you away to a magical school! <laughs> hey, Jeff, get the camera! <laughs> now, simply present your wand to me. And I will whisk you away! Jeff, I need my wand! <laughs> I'm gonna need the wand in about a minute because the <laughs> owl is about to fly! Wait, do we fly on the owl? What else would we do? <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> really on a tight schedule here. A lot of boys to make wizards. Oh. And younger. <laughs> oh, Hodwag. <laughs> Show me Jeff! Shut up! Jeff! I'm watching Seinfeld! Go back! <laughs> really gotta go! Just wait, just not wait. made a time! Hold on, hold on. Do you see this lab coat? Okay, how about if I let you wear the lab coat? <laughs> I'm half giant, it won't fit! Okay, if I could. Um. Jeff, I need! Give me five seconds, okay? Show me Jeff!
<laughs> oh, for the love of God! No! Go back! Get my popcorn! <laughs> oh, no. No. They, they were real! They were here! First, I ruined my movie, and then my, my me time. You know, I don't think we can live together. Anymore. Was going to be a wizard. Sure, sure. sure. You no, know, maybe you should go be a wizard with your with your parents. No, no, George, we cannot turn on the computer and look up how much tickets to China are because we don't have any power. I have a lot of power. I feel like <laughs> it comes mostly from this kimono. <laughs> Which I, I'm worried might are be Japanese. Are you hot in that? It's a thousand degrees in here. How are you wearing a full length, long sleeve, wool kimono? It's cotton and it breathes. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I'm worried because I'm not sure if kimonos are Chinese or Japanese and I've been mixing those up. So I need to get on the computer. Okay. How? <laughs> I'm not a details person. <laughs> Oh, so you're so you're doing the uh, the not eat lunch with your coworkers thing anymore? I no, you have misunderstood. I was, but I got busy for three weeks. For three, well, for three weeks you couldn't eat lunch with us. I um, was working on a project. Uh, listen, baby. I can explain. Uh, <laughs> let's I, let's talk. What do we What do we need to? <laughs> I I just, <laughs> I just I just don't like having lunch by my. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure where this talk is going. Reverse. <laughs> not sure where this talk. Forward. Is. Not sure where this talk is going, Brad. Um, yep, you are touching my leg. You are. In a monologue, Brad. I have no idea what she's talking about this lunch thing. So, uh, but maybe if I seduce her. <laughs> I'm recently single. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Show me his prior relationship. <laughs> I, I don't think this is working. I don't. I... <laughs> Go back! Go back! <laughs> wow. Maybe I just take off. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Okay, you keep that there. If you didn't want to have one, you could. Wow. It's so cold in here. Uh -huh. I just. Can we turn the heat on or something? Hey, have you ever been to Guatemala? <laughs> <laughs> well, once in college. Show me that. Spring break, right? Yay. Well, this is not what I thought. <laughs> Do you have any food? Uh, I got trail mix. Brain. Go back! <laughs> oh, they were uh, suffering from a zombie outbreak at the time. Are you listening? <laughs> what? It's cold. Sorry, I was thinking about another country. <laughs> you ever been to Inter France? Inter Countries are so nice. There's so many of them. <laughs> There's America, and Mexico, and Canada, and Japan, and China, and Russia, and Mongolia, and Djibouti. That's all I know. Brad, you spaced off there for a second. What Sorry. were you thinking about? Uh, lunch. <laughs> Go for lunch. What do you want to get? Your booty. <laughs> okay. Okay, we gotta fix this. One, you are never around with the camera when interesting things happen to me. Show oh. me the second interesting thing that has happened to you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Gonna make a new wand. <laughs> Go Go <laughs> I got a new wand. It would have been great footage for the documentary, but it wasn't. It's not a documentary. It's a documentary. I got kicked out of film school because of you. Show me that. <laughs> uh, you can see here, that's my, my senior film. It's supposed to be a documentary? Called, it's a documentary about how my roommate's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there's some more interesting stuff, maybe a unicorn, some wizards. We're we wouldn't have me. <laughs> oh, but unfortunately, you're expelled. I'm just saying, if you would have listened to me about the unicorns and the wizards, you maybe wouldn't have gotten expelled. Well, maybe if you had gone along, along with the original plan, Kevin Bacon. Man falls in love with the monkey, turns him into a woman through science. Sounds I could be in Hollywood right now. Uh, sounds a little derivative. So, um, is this the kind of shoe you wanted, or are these for you? Yeah, they're my shoes <coughs> for me. Why would you buy shoes for somebody who is not you? You said that really suspiciously. <laughs> Ma'am, I can't sell you these shoes if they're not for you. That's <laughs> that's in our policies. What if I bought them online? Couldn't I? Yeah, well, you can buy like powdered rhino horn online. This is the fi the finish line. <laughs> so that shoe is for me. Look at the stripes the on my shirt. I, I see your stripes, indicative of your rank as a <laughs> shoe lord. That's right. Shoe lord. But. Shoe Lord Johnson! <laughs> when I came in here, I saw how incredibly regal you were and said, Man, that man can sell me a shoe right on my foot. I would like to, but... They're for me! Ma'am, this is a size 13 and your foot is... Women's 9? I New like choice. room! And yours isn't. New choice. And yours is... A man size? Thirteen! <laughs> put it on my foot. Please, dear God, okay. put it on my foot. If a shoe lord puts a shoe on your foot, it can never be removed. <laughs> <laughs> that is the law. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> so, I'm yeah. glad that we're hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. this is really fun and totally what it says in Cosmo. Uh, Michaels, I'm gonna need to see the... <laughs> <laughs> so your brother stopped by while you were napping. He wants us to join him for lunch in Djibouti. <laughs> that was a really good nap. Um, like I, I had a dream. And you were there. Uh-huh. And we were in some sort of foreign place, but there was a big wall. Yep, wall. <laughs> wall. Did you say Gary came by? Your brother came by, yep. Brad, your brother Brad came by. Oh, I thought you said Gary. <laughs> Show me Gary. <laughs> Come back. Sorry, I have this condition where if I you say the word your brother, I hear Gary. <laughs> it's real specific. Uh, I'm, there's an ear doctor in China who can fix it. <laughs> I want a divorce. <laughs> what about the kids? I heard about the divorce. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Saw it on Facebook. <laughs> How did you get on Facebook? The computer's not working. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Witch! Witch! I almost knew it, Gary. Yeah, this is Kathleen. <laughs> I, I need you to sit down for this. On the ground. All the way on the ground. Just, chairs can't hold you no more. Oscar winning moment. <laughs> this is very difficult for me. But the shoe lord, in, in half of the shoe lord has taken me <laughs> to be his shoe lord apprentice. I thought that would happen. Shoe prince, if you will. That's how it happened to my ex-wife. I remember the story. But I'm taking your better half 
because he's travel sized. <laughs> and and I just want there to not be any hard feelings. Because what we had was special. Half a special, so it's like special. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I heard about the Shoe Lord thing. <laughs> When am I gonna learn? All bacon diets and shoe lords never lead to happiness. Your hair smells like grease. <laughs> Scene! Okay, and that was our first long form. But now to mix it up, we're gonna do a little bit of the opposite, which, if you're playing along at home, is short form. Short form! Whoa! Oh, good, Zach showed up. <laughs> Hi, Zach. Hi, buddy. All right, uh. That's okay. like your sweater. Nice. Thank you for all coming to this conversation with our friends. Uh, Alright, so the first game we are going to be playing, I've somehow managed to forget, is Slideshow. Woo! Matt and I... Matt, Matt ran away. Oh. <laughs> Matt is in the I turn off the common alert switch. Uh, Matt and I went on vacation together recently. In a totally innocent way. We did. Uh, I need to ask you guys, where'd we go? Petting Zoo. One more time. Petting Zoo. Petting Zoo in Djibouti. I think so. <laughs> and we saw something strange there. What's strange? Liger. A cyclops? Did I hear cyclops? We saw a cyclops at the Petting Zoo in Djibouti. I remember. Okay, now <laughs> all we need is one volunteer from the audience to come and be part of the slides we're going to show you. Come on, dudes. It's fun. It'll be you fun to and we won't touch you that much. You just move. Come on. Oh, yeah. You! Yeah. <laughs> and what is your name? Elizabeth. Big hit for Elizabeth, everybody. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, we're going to periodically turn off the lights in here. When we do, just adopt any posture or position you want, and that'll be part of the slides that we are showing to everyone. All right, so Matt, you want to come over here? And first slide. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Uh, this is from. Oh my god, this is from our trip to Djibouti. Yeah, yeah. When we went to that petting zoo. God, it's way too easy to say that. Djibouti. 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 Weren't that, you, weren't you fondling someone's Djibouti? <laughs> I mean, it's a petting zoo. It's right there in the name. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we got kicked out after that. Look, if they don't want you petting things at the petting zoo, then they shouldn't call it a petting zoo. I, I think it's semantical right now. Who's Samantha? <laughs> Semantics. Oh, right. Well, look at you. That goat didn't want that. <laughs> that kind of Vulcan neck pinch. Why are you knocking goats unconscious? <laughs> What are your ill intentions? I've never petted before. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Nap time in Djibouti. <laughs> it's a magical time. Were you napping? Or were you helping that person contort? <laughs> he has a back problem. <laughs> You just don't like to help people. Is oh, I was tired. I was done. But, I mean, we had our friends with us, and all of them were just kind of... I mean, come as you are. When in Rome. Well, look at Becky reaching out for help, and you're over on the... You make me sick. <laughs> Can we just... Come on. Or you were moving those people with your mind. That was crazy. <laughs> what did you do after nap time? <laughs> that man, he taught you so much. I was just asleep. Yeah. You should have woke me up. We could have done that together. Yeah, but then you'd have like as much power as I do, and I kind of like. I don't know. You lost it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, we did try to stop you. Yeah, you tried, but. At this point, I was essentially a physical god. Yeah, it was so. like a physical <laughs> situation. Yeah, like when she's up on the blue zone of the moon and kind of... Yes. That's a real specific comic reference. Because I'm... <laughs> what? 
<laughs> this was your big game hunt. That's originally why we went, right? Yeah, I really wanted to hunt, you know, antelopes, elk, everything that was in the petting zoo. Instead, you shot the shaman in the leg. Djibouti, <laughs> not Jamaica. No. Is that like a slogan? Djibouti, <laughs> not Jamaica. That's what it said on the brochure. I just thought repeating it would help. <laughs> Wait. Has that person been in the back of. Oh, I didn't even oh, notice what? that. Oh, until holy now. crap. Let's check the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, there oh, she is. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad that shaman came back to life. But I want to know the next. <laughs> every every single photo. Every Was she a tour guide? <laughs> Did we have a guide? Well, I don't think we. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't remember some stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna flip through the next three like real fast. Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. You're going. I hear breathing. <laughs> that's not a slide. Oh, that's a. Real <laughs> that's. that's a Someone please call the police. <laughs> okay, that was the nice show. <laughs> Big hand for the for everybody. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do another short form game for you now, but this one is much more serious. Because this one involves murder. We're about to play for you a game called Chain Murder Mystery. It's like the classic game Clue, or if you're British or weird, Cluedo. Uh, fun fact, look it up. Don't. Uh, we're going to need one audience volunteer to help us participate in this grisly series of investigations and murders. You, thank you. You see, someone on this stage has been murdered. No. And like in the classic game Cluedo, Chinese system calling. Uh, Hold on, could you say someone's been murdered again? Please? Someone's been murdered. Yes. We didn't get the timer on, so we more time. Someone's been murdered. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the opposite! Okay, so like in Clue, we are going to try to figure out what the location, the object, and the weapon. Not object. Occupation. Someone move Mike away from the keyboard, please. Occupation. The location, the occupation, and the weapon that were involved in the murder. We are going to do this through the art of mime and gibberish. Shanna and Mike, can you demonstrate mime and gibberish for me? Perfect. And you were, Shanna, you were clearly conveying Niagara Falls. Right. Okay. So I was saying, great job. <laughs> All right. We are now going to send these three out of the room. Woo! Not that. Not those three. Hey, I'm sorry. Name? Yeah. What's your Katie. name? Oh, I'm sorry. What is your name, new lady? Sarah. 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 Big hand for me. Remember to do that. Sarah. Okay. Once they are clear, we are going to determine what the L-O-W-R, location, occupation, weapon. So, uh, can I get a suggestion of a location for the murder to occur at? The it's magic school bus. Arm. I'm sorry, what? The magic school bus. The magic school bus, perfect. Can I get an occupation? Dental hygienist. Feels like doctor. Dental hygienist. Yes. Okay. She's not, is she a dental hygienist and she's gonna get it in like five seconds? No. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna trust you on this. Uh, and what is the weapon? Wonder bra. Wonder bra. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the keyboard off if you can't treat it with respect. Oh, we're turning the keyboard off. <laughs> okay, so Taylor will be our first detective. Once he has conveyed, yes, big round of applause. Once he has conveyed all three, and when someone knows it, they go, ah, you'll see. Once he has conveyed all three, 
It's time for him, sadly, to die. Kill yourself! <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, when it's time, so once he's conveyed all three, we yell, murder, murder, murder! And the second person will kill Taylor. And then we'll bring in the next person. That's all relatively clear. So just to review, one more time, Taylor, what is the location? Uh, the magic school bus. The occupation? A dental hygienist. And the weapon? Wonder Bra. A Wonder Bra. So, without further ado, Let's give our first cry of murder, murder, murder on three. One, two, three. Murder, murder, murder! Okay, 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 okay,
of the murder. A bus stop? Mm, no. no. Burns. Sarah, what was the location? School bus. What kind of school bus? the weapon. I'm sure you got this one. A prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> mm, no. Okay. Sarah? Boobs? <laughs> Closer! <laughs> Mike? Um, augmented boobs? <laughs> lift it. and <laughs> set. Oh. Old boobs? <laughs> Mike, it was the Wonder Bra. The Wonder Bra. <laughs> Mike doesn't. I don't. I don't know about boobs. Sarah, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Big round of applause for Sarah. All right, we've got one more short form game to do for you guys, and then we'll go back to the long form. And we'll let you leave. Uh, yeah. So this is a game called Objection. Uh, you know, we're improv people, which means we like attention, but... No. So we're going to tell you a story. But we're also assholes, so we're going to interrupt each other. Each of us is going to tell you a story, starting with Katie. Woo! Hey, Katie! <laughs> well, when someone detects a problem with her story, they're going to yell... Objection! objection! And then they will state their objection. If their objection is good, and good here means you guys go, Woo! They'll take the place of the storyteller. If it's a bad objection, you'll yell boo or our preference, Bort. Uh, <laughs> you can just yell boo, but Bort is funnier because it's a Simpsons reference. Bort. Yeah. Um, and they won't get to go on. Whoever is controlling the story at the end of four minutes is our winner. Uh, to get started, can I get, uh, what's your favorite uh, fairy tale? Cinderella. Hansel and Gretel. And what's your favorite Gretel. horror movie? Saw. 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 Uh, Saw and Gretel is the name of the stories we are telling you. Saw and Gretel. Sure. Have fun. We start. start? Start. All right. Um, so I work at uh, an elementary school, and so I work with a lot of <laughs> old kids, and they mix up their fairy tales all the time. I remember last year I had a kid who was singing a, um, a Christmas song around Christmas and he was like, Frosty the snowman had a shiny red nose. And he like was butchering the whole thing because he couldn't remember anything. Objection. That is just too adorable. Am I right? <laughs> okay. So uh, like Katie, uh, and I'm having deja vu, but like Katie, um, I also am a teacher. I work at a high school and I teach, I teach a theater class. And um, so I'm, I'm basically what I am doing is I'm just regurgitating everything my high school theater teacher did. So I had my students write uh, Dr. Seuss uh, books into plays. They turned Dr. Seuss books into plays and we performed it into the elementary school. And I'm Objection. I'm still hung up on you using regurgitation imagery. It Bort. was gross. Bort. 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 Oh. Yeah. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Uh, we should hang out after the show because we're going to be all best friends. Objection! Oh no! I want to tell my story! Mike, you have so many friends you don't need anymore! Woo! No, you should board that. I always <laughs> So once upon a time, 
in the dark, dark towers of the middle of the great land. There was a girl named Gretel. And Gretel was totally cool about the whole fact that she was an orphan and living on her own and all that other story bullshit. But she didn't like the fact that she had to work in a mill. You see, a mill is no place for a seven-year-old girl. Objection! Preachy! Uh, Bort! Bort! No seven-year-old girl belongs in a mill! Objection! I know this one! <laughs> Gretel awoke chained to a bathtub. <laughs> a loaded pistol at her side and a note from an evil puppet that said, Who you shoot will determine how you float. Objection, Objection. Bane. Bane. What? Bane. 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 And then water started filling up the bathtub, which she was changed. The whole room was a bathtub, let's be clear. Objection, there's a toilet in the bathtub. So you guys are not gonna believe who I saw the other day. It was Anne Gretel. Objection, German. I believe it. Bort. Uh, he's the German artist uh, who created such works as Chained in a Bathroom. <laughs> anyway, I saw him at the local Starbucks. He was Objection, nobody knows who you're talking about. <laughs> Bort. 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 Obviously, my friends here are very uneducated. Um, so I went up to Anne and I said, Hey, Anne, what are you drinking? And he said, Coffee. Objection, is a girl's name? Bort. 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 So I'm just gonna talk about whatever because apparently everybody loves me. <laughs> Objection! No one loves Taylor. Bored. 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 So I said to Ann Gretel. Coffee. Objection! I love Taylor so much that I want to go up there with him. <laughs> so, so bored. What? Wait, bored. <laughs> Objection! They just bored it themselves. <laughs> yeah. So the water was up to her neck, and Gretel had the pistol in her hand and thought, "Who you should shoot." Determines who. Objection! Why you said it. that? Can't go with Taylor. Oh, it's a plan, boys. Can't go with Taylor. Bort. So she pointed the gun at her. Objection! Own. Come on. Bort. <laughs> at her own. No. Objection! Her hand was handcuffed. Oh. Objection! Yes. I was in suspense. Give me a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And then she shot the water. <laughs> and the water started bleeding. Objection, the water's going on. Oh! Yeah! Lame! Will is the beaner. And I won the prize of Matt never getting to tell his he story. He didn't get to tell any of it. Matt, do you want to tell your story now? No. Yeah, let's all take a no. moment for Matt no, no, to tell his no, story. No, no, no. You don't get to do it. Done. Story time! Story time! Story time! Story time. Story time. Story time. Okay, so. <laughs> Tansel and Gretel. Oh, Objection! We've got to do the next long form. <laughs> so, you know, like Pride and Prejudice Bort, and Zombies. Bort. But it's a different Bort. one. Do you want the stage back? Oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> okay. We've got one more piece we'd like to do for you. But to do this. <laughs> We're going to need one more audience volunteer to come up and talk to us for a little bit. Uh, you. Woo! Woo! What is your name? Drew. Hi, Drew. Big hand for Drew, everybody. Woo! Have a seat, Drew. I am going to talk to you for a little bit. Sorry. All right. Uh, Drew, are you a student on campus? Yes. OK, uh, what's your major? Civil engineering. Okay, is that, is that buildings? Do you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys ever joke about being like uncivil engineer? No. <laughs> well, now you can. You can use that. Uh, uh, what brings you to the show tonight? I uh, saw your flyer and don't have anything better to do. Awesome. Yeah. For us. Uh, what was your day like today, Drew? Uh, I spent four hours this morning coding. Yeah! And, um, Gross. Uh, Spent the rest of it in class. Okay, uh, what classes? I had engineering, I had math, and English. Okay, what, what English class? 106. Okay, that gives me no information. <laughs> it's, it's, that's just like confresh. Yeah, oh, okay. Fresh okay. English. 
Sorry, I was a freshman literally 11 years ago because I'm old as dust. <laughs> you are not dust. <laughs> but you are old. Yes. Thank you. All right, uh, where are you from, Drew? Uh, Brownsburg, Indiana. Okay, uh, where the Challenger Space Memorial thingy. Sure. Space Simulator? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went to it in fifth grade, which was yeah. in like 1970. Uh, <laughs> what was the most, what's the best thing about growing up in Brownsburg? Come on, there had to be something. There wasn't anything. Okay. So places, so every place after that will be an improvement. Yes. That's good. Uh, what were your, what are your hobbies? Uh, I like bowling, playing video games. Oh yeah. Uh, what's your, uh, what's your uh, average in bowling? Uh, like 180s. Nice. Ooh. You know, they do a bowling class here. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I know the guy do it. Name dropper. <laughs> What's his name? Doug. Name dropper. <laughs> uh, uh, what sort of video games do you play? Uh, now this is just going to turn to me wanting to be your friend. <laughs> uh, you guys can take a... <laughs> Halo, Assassin's Creed, The Sims. <laughs> One Which of these Sims? things is not like the other. Which Sims? Three. Three. Yes! Woo! Uh, so... So video games, bowling. Anything else you usually do? I uh, just hang out with my friends. Cool. Uh, right. What was your favorite Christmas present when you were a kid? Nintendo 64. Hell yeah. Nintendo nice. 64! Drew your man from your heart. Uh, guys, are there any questions you have for Drew? Um, so he's a freshman, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Drew. I'm, try I'm batting for I, you I here. Okay, Matt's. So, so what was like the biggest change coming from like your hometown to here? Like, what was like the best thing when you got here? Like, yes. Uh, meeting all the new people. New people, cool. Uh, what was your high school mascot? Bulldog. Bulldog. What do you want to be when you grow up? Probably a civil engineer. No, there's more than just civil engineers. What kind of buildings do you want to build? Big uh, <laughs> Special More like bridges and stuff is what I want to be into. See, bridges are not buildings. Infrastructure. Like, tell me more about bridges. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, covered bridges, suspension bridges. What's your dream bridge? <laughs> what do you What do you look at in the world that needs to be connected? Bridges <laughs> over troubled water. Shut up, Taylor. <laughs> Madison County. Do you want to rebuild burned bridges? Bridge to <laughs> Stop just saying fictional bridges, Mike. Uh, best play bridge. It's a card game. All right, I'm gonna ask a weird one. What's your biggest fear? Get real with me, Drew. Snakes. Yes. Good, good choice. They're low to the ground and poisonous. Uh, and if you had. Fifteen thousand dollars and all yes. these specific sums. Uh, what would you do with it? Car. Okay. Car. Do a car. What kind of car? Good question, Taylor. Some sort of sports car. I don't know. All right. I have no idea how much cars cost. I just realized. <laughs> I bet fifteen thousand will get you some kind of car. <laughs> yes. Four wheels certainly. Any more questions for Drew? Okay. All right, Drew, we're going to take what you told us and turn it into a long form. We might make fun of you a little bit. If we do, I'm sorry. <laughs> but big hand for Drew for doing this stuff. Oh, yes, before I do that, normally we have paddles. You might have noticed during our first long form, we did some shouting from the sides. Uh, things like, show me that, or inner monologue, or what's that, other Oscar winning moment. We're passing out scantrons because Tim has the paddles. Shouldn't the game of uh, girls be sexist? Oh, please. If I you have, actually target females. I'm sorry. If you have the scantron, <laughs> feel free while we're doing our long form to yell whatever it says on there, and we will have to do that. And we encourage you to pass those around the audience. Two so, boys, too. Or hold on to them fiercely. I saw you shaking your head like, I'm not passing this. <laughs> I have power now. This is mine. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna do an encore for you. All right. <laughs> this code means something. It means something. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> This is 
is amazing. I bet you it is. We should clean up the cabinets more map. often. A <laughs> map. A map. A map. This is a really old house. It's an old house. I bet you it's a map to a bridge <laughs> <laughs> that will take us to a magical world where we will get to know each other better and fall in love and spend the rest of our lives together and have kids. Um, and then we will like go on vacation <laughs> to the south of France because I, I just heard it's lovely. And then I'll like make a picnic for us and I'll be like, baby, let's make out. Okay, but what is <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let's make out. I'm over here. <laughs> that is an otter. Oh, you've never done this before, have you? <laughs> Vanessa. Yes. I I hadn't. It's been like five years since. Oh, I hadn't even noticed. Five years. It's good to see you've changed. Really matured. Um, how's, uh... Super mature. How's your brother? How's your brother? I have eyes, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> if you could look into them. Vanessa, you know... No. I'm just worried that if... We can't go back. I didn't ask you to. You know what happens when I look in your eyes. <laughs> I do. <Under> monologue. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bad breakup, but they all are. My house on fire. Her car in the river. <laughs> we had a dog together. Neither of us ever saw it again. <laughs> I get a letter from him. And yet I felt the pull. From across that crowded Starbucks, I felt it. God help me, I felt it. So, uh, you still got that same phone number? It's never changed, Jeremy. It's never changed. Neither of you. Nope. Neither of you. <laughs> You beautiful blind bitch. <laughs> so it's just sitting there under my bed. Fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. <laughs> A giant briefcase full of money. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> You wanna help me spend it? <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is like the movie Blank Check. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it is! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that alarm clock. <laughs> do it. Here. I can buy a new one now. I'll I got it for you. Where in the world did you get that? I carry it around with me everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that alarm clock, and I'm, I'm sick and tired of all my secrets that I haven't told this guy yet. I'm, I pretend you didn't hear that. Here goes nothing. Here it goes. Oh dear God! I only had two shells left. I'm glad you wasted it on that pesky alarm clock. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully we'll never run into a situation where I'll need to defend this money. I don't think that that would be possible. I don't think people really like money. <laughs> Maybe they do. What about criminals? We should buy a castle! We should buy a <laughs> Come up to the bridge, sir. Sorry, long, long night. Um, Ensign Jami... Djibouti. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Ensign Djibouti and Private McGillagorkian? Yeah. <laughs> I have a mission for you. We can handle it. Yeah. Cam Djibouti and McGillagorkian. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is no laughing matter, soldier! Sorry. You know I have a tick. So. Show me that! Oh god, a tick that makes me laugh when I say my own name! Go back! Oh, yeah. Uh, the president's uh, sports car has been stolen. Do we have any intel on who, who, you did, on who did it? <laughs> Sorry, it takes burrowing pretty far up there, messing with my ing... <laughs> All we have... Can you guys turn around and open the safe? Shoe size right, pant size left. Enter my lab, go again. Three. <laughs> Pancake batter. <laughs> Djibouti. <laughs> all right, you guys can turn around. Uh, the thief left behind their bowling ball. Probably has fingerprints all over it. Well, mine. Well, I'm mean, inside it. <laughs> All right, I, I. How else? How do you carry a bowling ball? <laughs> There's only one. Get down. Can you tell me where video games come from? <laughs> yes, son. I always thought this day would come. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something up about uh, I don't know, scientists and I don't know, wizard and <laughs> magical. Ah. Uh, well, when your mother and I were younger, punk, we uh, smoked a lot of drugs. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Who knew that code was gonna lead to so many drugs? I love drugs. Oh, so do I. Let's. Hey, I I'm a hallucination. You're freaking out, man. <laughs> baby, drugs. Baby, these drugs. I think I just had a baby. I think I figured out how to kiss. Go back. <laughs> I miss mom. Yeah, it was a shame that that bus hit her. <laughs> Why did I drive that bus on all those drugs? Never drive a bus and do drugs! If only someone had taught me that! Why didn't you teach me that? For you! For you! Now she's an orphan! Half an orphan! Half an orphan! She's an orphan like the half of her that the mom makes of an orphan. That's the half she is! God, I wish I just had a table that I could flip over! Here's a chair, Dad. Oh, it's an antique. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> My balance is perfect. You look like you're floating. Are you high? See, I, I took so many drugs that I'm permanently high. And my husband left me on this bus, and I don't know how to get off of it. I've been here for eight years. <laughs> Like, I feel like a lot of the implausibilities in your story I can kind of chalk up to I. Uh, but you fascinate me. Um, so what's your story? Oh, I'm a plumber. Oscar winning moment. Or I was. You see, you fix the pipes every day till your wrench is wet with blood and pipe water. And one day you ask, why aren't the pipes tight? I've been tightening pipes for 20 years. 
<laughs> and every day they're loose. Uh, so now I'm a painter. Watercolors. I'm actually on this bus to get some inspiration for my next piece. Ooh, what kind of inspiration are you looking for? Bus seats. <laughs> Stee subs. What kind of inspiration are you looking for? Forward. What kind of inspiration are you looking for? Bus seats. You know, this one tastes really good. <laughs> What do you want to do? Been okay. looking at it for two days. Yeah, I thought. Uh, Where'd it go? Where? Oh. Money! Money! Here, boy! Here, boy! Show me the money! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not magic, I don't move. I'm just a big stack of money. Go back! Talking money? <laughs> have the money again. Let's go on an adventure. Uh, uh, well, where were we on that castle buying? <coughs> what if we found a castle? <laughs> <laughs> we did find that money under your bed. <laughs> Kevin, it's your mom! Mom what? Kevin, apparently your father put your college fund underneath of your bed. I need to get it out so I can vacuum. <laughs> We could use the money Kevin. to. We could use the money to buy more bullets. Kevin, I'm not gonna stand here all day. <laughs> Remember, I have that gun. It's just right on my back. Kevin, I'm gonna go Money, money! You stay put. Kevin, you shut up, poor. Kevin, oh, that's my mom. Who is it? The great darn hip you have in there, son. We're gonna, we're gonna kill her anyway. Kevin. Come Why is your door locked? I feel like this is spiraling really idea. quick. Kevin, I have an idea. your father! Get in here! Get in here! <laughs> Mom! Hi! You never come back! Go! <laughs> we don't love you anymore! <laughs> we don't love you anymore! <laughs> Can we go forward? Uh, forward! Thank you. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> we don't love you anymore! We never did! I kinda did. No! No, we did! Shut up! <laughs> I raised you! No, you didn't! Why didn't you? No, you didn't! You tell me what I meant to do, Mr. Man, with a gun! I have a gun! I get to control reality! <laughs> he shot my alarm clock! No, I it. didn't! It shot itself! <laughs> I'm scared! No, you're not! Yes, I am! Yeah, that's the point! You get out of here! <laughs> the car. No. <coughs> Did you bring the bowling ball? The what? The bowling ball! <laughs> we gotta go back. <laughs> Where? Sarge? Sir? <coughs> it's Djibouti and McGillic. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sarge got... Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your captain, not your sergeant. That's your sergeant. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta go back to my room now. Captain? Oh, yes. What's up? You don't need me anymore? No. 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 Sergeant, you're doing great work. Thanks. I forgot the bowling ball. Well, you're fired. <laughs> this doesn't seem like it used to seem. Don't say that, Vanessa. You feel different. I'm fatter. Sorry. I wasn't going to say anything. But yes, even the blind can see that. Once you left, <laughs> there was nothing for it but to eat. To shove my gaping maw with all the pies I could find. <laughs> to fill the hole you left in me. Jeremy, I didn't... Vanessa, 
I never found a pie that... I never found a pie that tasted like... That tasted like you! Emotionally! Not... Jim? Whoa! You found my bus! You died eight years ago! You left me on this bus eight years ago! Show me that! <laughs> Oh no! My wife got hit by a bus! I There were the, the, there were the drugs, we got the bus. Yeah, I the, I'm permanently high. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not, but I feel the choices I have made in my life have been irrational. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I remember you got we went on the bus. Show right. me that. About your choices being irrational. More drugs. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Bing bong. I don't love you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> I don't know if I eat it or I smoke it. Come back. <laughs> and then you got hit by the bus, and then that I. That didn't happen. And then I walked off the bus. No, I was on the bus the whole time. You decided it would be a good idea to drive the bus. Uh huh. But I stayed in my seat. And I because drove I, the bus and you got hit by it. I was inside the bus the whole time. Yes, but you got <laughs> hit by it. Dad, there's a seat in the back. I am so glad your mother got killed. She's being a bitch. <laughs> what happened? You killed yourself? <laughs> Oh my god, and we didn't even spend the one dollar! Oh. Mama, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Don't touch me there, son. Oh, you're not dead? <laughs> Are any of you dead? You see, son, uh, what your mom and I oh, did. Oh no! Is this a lesson? <laughs> I was never a pile of money! It's oh. me! Uncle Jerry! <laughs> your mom and I thought you could use a lesson. The, yeah, remember, right, we did. Remember, I used the last two bullets on the alarm clock. It doesn't even make sense, <gasps> right? <laughs> also, shotguns use shells, not bullets. <laughs> I said shells at first, and then I forgot the lingo. <laughs> so, so what's the moral here? I shouldn't take money that doesn't belong to me? You know what? We've been running this thing for like three it, years of prep time. Yeah. I don't remember what we were trying to do. Was it? Right, don't, so, uh, something about college. No, look college. both ways before. Don't follow maps in the cabinet. I it was don't do drugs. <laughs> we have been at liberation, and that was nonsense. But fun! Uh, no! Mort! Mort! Alright. If you like what you saw tonight, if you, guys. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Katie, you're in trouble. Oh no. If you like what you saw tonight, uh, we do an open practice every month where everyone is welcome to join. Yeah. We are doing it this Sunday at 1 p.m. This Sunday. The meet format. The Short format Mondays. is hanging out and doing improv. Don't have fun. Okay. Should be fun. Uh, it, uh, we're meeting at 1 p.m. in the lobby of the Lily Building over uh, some direction. That, that way. That way. Uh, and then we'll go up to the third floor. If you're running late, feel free to come on up. You'll know us by the sound of a glorious laughter. We'll have the door open. Also, we'll have the door open. <laughs> uh, and we'd love to have you. It's a pretty fun time. We're super laid back people, mostly. Except for Katie. Katie's a super laid back person. Oh, damn it. Always a person. Beyond person. that, you can follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Ad Liberation? <laughs> yes. Good, I got it. Should have wrote that down. Uh, we're on Twitter at Ad Liberation. No, nope, Ad no. Improv. Ooh. That's okay. Ooh. Four. 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 It's, it's okay. okay. This is the first show I've ever hosted. It's true. Woo! Uh, and we have a website, adliberation.net. Not yeah. Yeah. Not dot com. I don't know what will happen to you, but it's probably. dot com. It's dot not net. net. <laughs> it's dot not it's com. Not net. Star dot reference net. for all of you people older. Whitehouse.com. <laughs> all right, and we're gonna end on that really dumb note. Uh, actually, 
This is kind of weird, but does anyone play the game Werewolf? Yeah. Or Mafia. Yeah. Or same Mafia. Thing, same thing. Uh, we were kind of thinking about playing a game of Werewolf after the show, just for fun. In the Union? Yeah. In the Union. No way! Thanks, no Sarah. Way. Fort. If you are interested in hanging out with us, if we seem like cool people, if we get at least like six people, we're just gonna go over and play and pretend to murder each other and stuff. No pressure, but friendship. Uh, if that sounds like fun, just uh, come up to me after the show. I'll be the one who looks like me. Uh, so, in closing, we have been Ad Liberation with... I'm pointing at you, Mike. you got to pay attention. Mike. Katie. Matt. Taylor. Shanna. And I'm...